Forgot to unmute myself. All right, so first thing, it's going to be a little bit different this year. I'm not good with the microphone. I'll do my best. I don't like the sound of my voice through the speakers. It's what prevented me from being a professional singer. Um, so we didn't get a chance to do much practice and preparation as we typically do. So this experience already is very different, as many of you have already pointed out. So far, all I've heard is this is so much better. So let's hope that it continues to go that way as we move throughout the ceremony. I'm sure all of you are well aware that walking under a ladder is bad luck. What you may not be aware of is that walking under a man on stilts is extremely good luck. So you guys should be all set all summer long with good luck. All right, so you can thank Troy for that. A Couple other things I wanna mention before I get started. I do have a couple of friends in really high places at the United States military. And so as soon as we decided on this date for our graduation, I spoke with them about getting a couple fighter jets to do a flyover this morning. So you may have heard all week long, they've been practicing and getting ready. I'm not sure if they just had the dates wrong or what went down, but I'm hoping they're going to show up this morning. We'll see. If you do start to hear them, guys, you're giving your speech. You may want to pause for a minute because it gets really loud and nobody will hear what you're saying. We'll watch them go by, we'll say thank you, and then you can continue to go on. Whew. Back in late August,
August of 2019, which was amazingly only nine months ago. Feels like another lifetime at this point. Bill Anton, our remarkable superintendent, welcomed the members of the WCSU back to school with these t-shirts that he had made forever. It says Base Camp 2019-2020 WCSU. All staff members receive this shirt that says on the back, together we rise. At the time, it seemed like a nice slogan for the SU given how much work we had done in the previous years since Bill took over as superintendent. Little did any of us know what kind of school year we were in store for when we began back in the fall of 2019. Yet the fall became winter and then 2020 arrived and all of our worlds were turned upside down in a way that I'm sure most of us never thought possible. Now this shirt, which also connects perfectly to a song that you'll be hearing later, that these guys will be performing with Sally and Miss Oldman. And this slogan, Together We Rise, is more appropriate than ever. Not to mention it was the perfect excuse for me to wear a t-shirt to graduation, which is really most important of all. <laughs> Together, as a school and community, we will rise out of this unprecedented time to be stronger, smarter, more tolerant, and more grateful. My theme today is being grateful. And it's not because I'm a deadhead, but because there are so many reasons still during this crazy time to be grateful. Even now, with all you guys have endured this year with school and all the craziness that's happening in this country, there's still plenty to be grateful for. I know I'm extremely grateful for this school and this community. This is where I belong, I have no doubt of that. I'm grateful for the relationships I've experienced over the past 16 years of working here in Wyndham. I'm very grateful for the amazing staff that I work with, and you'll hear more about them momentarily. We should all be grateful for living in Vermont, especially now. How lucky are we to be living in this beautiful, low-populated state? Just Thursday, I left here. I was driving down, took a right at the Four Corners, onto 121 towards Grafton. I came around a corner, and there on the side of the road, a big fat old bear sitting, sitting on the side of the road eating something. I don't know, some kind of plant, flower, trash, who knows what it was. I've never seen a bear sitting before. I've only seen a handful of bears in my life, every one since I moved to Vermont. And they're usually scampering across the road or running away or in route doing something. So that was a really amazing moment for me to actually see a bear sitting down eating. As soon as it saw me, of course, it got up and quickly sauntered across the road into the woods and disappeared. But it was such a nice moment of the beauty and the nature and the, the special state that we live in. That's for long. Most importantly today, I'm grateful for the wonderful students we have at our school. In particular, these six purple graduates sitting in front of me. Each of these children has had a positive impact on me in one way or another. However, they have to wait a little while because right now I need to take a moment and express how grateful I am to a few other specific people who are not graduating today but I do feel should be quickly recognized. I can't tell you how much better this is than being stuck in that room sweating to death. The first is Sarah Wonderly. Is she here? Okay. Arguably the best decision I've ever made in 21 years of being a classroom teacher. I cannot tell you how many people, Sarah, have said things to me this year about how great and how valuable you are. Your organization, thankfully, balances out my disorganization, your positive interactions with the students, your willingness to do whatever is needed, often without even being asked to do it. Just know that you are now an irreplaceable part of the Wyndham School community, and I could not be more grateful 
for you joining me here again next year to take on this new challenge. So thank you. <laughs> Troy, that goes for you too. <laughs> the next person I'd like to express my grateful thanks for is Miss Carolyn Partridge. Carolyn, you've devoted so much time and energy and love into this school that anything I could say will not do justice to you and all that you have done. This school may not even exist at this point if it was not for all your hard work and dedication. Personally, you have helped me through many challenging times these 16 years without judgment, but rather with consideration and care that only a great friend would offer. I'm so grateful you are still attending the board meetings, as I can't imagine being at them without you there. It just wouldn't be right. I want to thank you with all my heart for your time as the school board chair, and can only beg that you will continue to remain a part of the school community. I'm very grateful you've been a part of my experience at this school for all 16 years. Thank you, Carolyn. Next, Miss Kate Ullman. Kate, thank you for being here. You should see, Kate, the dozens of different spellings of your last name that I've seen over the years in these speeches. All man, as if you are all man, or maybe a member of the Allman Brothers man. Almond, as if you are a nut, which very well may be partially true. Al Man, as if you are a man named Al. Just looking over the speeches today, I believe there's three different spellings. Okay, what you do musically with these students is so amazing. The school concerts that you've put on here over these years, as many of you have heard me reference, make the performances my children did in Grafton look ridiculous. What you get out of these kids, and the way they sound, and the way they come together, is truly amazing and remarkable. And I can't thank you enough for making those concerts enjoyable. Even though it was my own kids singing up there, I couldn't wait to get out of those concerts and graft it. So thank you for making it so tolerable. Um, you do the chorus performances with everybody. All right, that was something I always required everybody to do. So you may have had kids in there that weren't psyched to be there, and you still did amazing things with them. You did the Leland and Gray performances. You join us at Valley Cares when we go and sing down there. You made the video for Don Anobi's Pacham before this graduation, which was remarkable, singing all by yourself, beautifully. You do the National Honor Choir all over the country, bringing kids all kinds of great places. We will miss you greatly, and I can only hope you'll grace us with your talents as a musical volunteer in the years to come. Kate, I'm so grateful my misname is not. My last name is not as misspelled as yours. <laughs> Thank you so much for everything you've done. All right, I don't think there's anybody else special to be recognized today. Hmm. What do you think, Sally? There it is. Nah. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm going to hold it together. I'm going to get a drink first. Because my mouth is going dry already. I have extra time to do a little bit of this talking this morning. Because as I've already said, this year is a little bit different. I didn't work on the speeches with these guys the way I would in the past. Typically we take almost the last two full weeks of school to focus on them working on their speeches. Meeting with me, and then they work on it some more. Then they meet with me again, and then they work on it some more. Then they meet with me again, and they work on it some more. And it's a really lengthy process. And there's been times when kids produce five, six, seven, eight page speeches. If you recall, when Lily and Madison <coughs> and Mary graduated, they had, I don't even remember, like 13, 14 pages each. They were talking about everybody. It was impressive and remarkable. These guys didn't get that, and so I apologize to all of you for not having that experience. But the speeches are a little bit shorter, a little bit more compact and to the point. So I've got a little extra time to talk about Sally. <laughs> Sally has also been a constant for me during my time here, 16 years. She's been here, I believe, for 24 years, teaching the children of Wyndham. I believe she started here as a student 
back in second grade, maybe, in 1962 or thereabouts. So she's got a lot of history and a lot of time and energy and love devoted into the school. Her love of outdoors and hiking has shaped so much of what we do here on a regular basis. Our fall hike when we get back to school, which I'm sure we'll do again next year. Multiple other outdoor experiences throughout the year. I'm sure you'll hear all of these guys make mention of some capacity of how much you taught them about nature and plants and animals and the world around them. More than ever, I would say they need that stuff now when they're stuck at home in these stupid Zoom meetings for hours and hours trying to learn. Get outside, use what Sally taught you. She's so calm, patient, dedicated, and considerate of everyone's feelings all the time. Her musical talents and singing made our Friday all-school meetings so much fun and really enjoyable. Even the sixth graders who might at times and in other schools think, oh my God, this is kitty stuff, this is baby stuff. They still were into it, they were still singing. I remember Pat McDonald singing still as a sixth grader. And it just always blew me away because he was cooler than cool. <laughs> I can't bear the thought of me attempting to sing and run those meetings next year, so maybe the terror that's going to be on you. 